now to our five on five coverage. San Benito's girls fought to make the playoffs as the four seed from District 32 6A. Then they turned around and stunned District Champ Edinburgh in the first round. Could the Hounds keep that momentum going tonight up in Corpus Christi? Here come the highlights. San Benito taking on Loretta United. Greyhounds down six at the half. Here in the third quarter, Michaela Garcia down low. And the Hounds start a rally going. Right after that, it's Garcia once again. And she gets the friendly roll. The San Benito bench digging that. And how about this? The third time is the charm. Garcia single handedly getting San Benito back in the game. The Hounds go on top 22 21. It was a tight ball game that went back and forth. And when the buzzer sounds, San Benito in the loss column 50 to 45, the final. Also up in Corpus, Harlingen going up against Laredo United. Uh, excuse me, Alexander. The first shot blocked here, but Andrea Cortez gets the put back for the cards. And Harlingen with the lead early, but Alexander turns it around. Another big swat for Juliana Zamora, and that leads to an easy layup. Alexander with an 11 0 run, and now Harlingen trying to get back into it. A nice pass to Tegan Dickey for the score. Then, after a steal, it's Dickey with another basket for the cards, but just too much ground to gain for Harlingen. Alexander knocks them out 66 42. A few weeks ago, Brownsville veterans won their first district championship in program history. They followed that up with a first round playoff win. Tonight, the Lady Chargers getting warmed up up at Falfurias High School. Brownsville veterans drawing Flower Bluff in this area contest, and it was a fabulous one. We start the highlights on the run. Danny Diaz to Lizzie Garza, and the Charger Nation up on their feet. Then, Brownsville vets going to playmaker Jordan Rudd. It's her against the world there, and somehow she gets it in. The senior point guard making a big impact later, run right on the dribble, and this time she pulls up and knocks down the jumper. And Brownsville veterans keeps it going. It's the Diaz Garza connection working again. Nicely done there. They follow that up with a quick score from Diaz. And this one decided in overtime. Brownsville veterans comes up just short as Flower Bluff moves on 42 to 38. Pace in the second round after an overtime win this week. Bike Queens facing Carol in Falfurias. Early on, Kaylin Quesada knifes in and goes off the glass. Pace down by two. On their next possession, Quesada gets the loose ball. Up and in, plus the foul. Pace going shot for shot with Carol. It was a two-point game at the end of one. Second quarter, Katie Quesada cross court to Crystal Ureste. And that's as easy as one, two, three. But before the half, Carroll would come up with a big run, and Brownsville Pace can't recover. The Tigers eliminate the Vikings 73-34. to On the scoreboard here, chalk up a win for Westlaco. The Pantherettes victorious over United South, and Westlaco will move on to face United. Also tonight, South Sand defeats Harlins and South 75-59. Divine takes out La Feria 52 30. And in double overtime, Crystal City tips Hidalgo 52 50.